so far we have discussed relationship between gender and language. Now language is not a single entity. Language itself is collection of languages that we often call varieties. This time in this module, you will know how gender interacts with varieties of the same language. A variety, first of all, we will define it. What is a variety? A variety is a specific way of speaking which is associated with some particular region or with some particular social group. If it is related with some region, we call this variety a dialect. If it is related with a social group, professionals, etc., we call it register. Why one should know about varieties, especially to know relationship between gender and language? It is because sometimes some language expressions are allowed in one variety and the same expressions are disallowed in other variety. So while studying this relationship, we have to go to variety level. For example, in variety A of any language, shit may be disallowed, may be inappropriate for female speakers, but in some other language, uh, uh, some, some other variety of the same language, say variety B, it is acceptable and it is quite likely that over the period of time in variety A where it is right now unacceptable may become appropriate, may become acceptable. So this language variation is helpful in knowing the relationship between gender and language. We cover all these uh, terms. We are using language, the term variety, the term dialect, and uh, also register, and some other terms. We all cover them under an umbrella term that is called code. This is a neutral term. It may refer to any of these aspects of language. How do we learn a variety? This is part of our process of socialization. When we are born, we spend time in childhood with our parents, with our siblings, our socialization starts from that period onward. And language learning is also part of this process of socialization. Besides this, we have by birth an ability to acquire any language of the world. We may learn, for example, Punjabi language at home. Within a language, we can, can learn any variety of that language. For example, Punjabi is language, it has many varieties and one of the varieties is Lahori Punjabi. Within a variety, again, we can learn the sub-variety of our parents, the variety of Punjabi that is spoken by our parents. This variety is also technically called heritage language or heritage variety. So a child who is born in old Lahore, for example, walled city of Lahore, will learn Lahori Punjabi, Lahore's Punjabi. This is old Lahore, see some glimpses of the city. This learning to talk, learning to talk 
in Punjabi. This is not bound with language or variety that is spoken by parents. It does not need direct teaching by parents. It just depends on our first exposure. And if this exposure during our childhood happens to have with more than one language variety, we can learn both simultaneously. We can learn more than one first language. This is called multilingualism. And this is norm of today's modern world. Most part of the world today is multilingual. People speak more than one language. This is called multilingualism. During this exposure in childhood to our mother variety, the child notes differences in sounds, in grammar, in structure of uh, larger units like phrases, etc. In structure of words, in a way, the child is observing the differences between different varieties spoken at home and outside home. And it is from these differences which the child observes and knows and internalizes in his her mind that child's own grammar is built up. Child's own grammar is constructed by the child. With this internal support, we have said that by birth we have an ability to acquire any language of the world. For example, the child who is learning Punjabi and English simultaneously, for example, notes the difference in pool and pool. Now see the difference in sounds. In Urdu, the sound fa, the sound fa in the beginning of the sentence takes place. But this sound doesn't occur in English word like pool in the beginning of the syllable. Similarly, karjo. Now this is a phrase of Punjabi. Here the object comes first and jao, the verb comes after the object. Whereas in English, we say go home. It means verb comes first and the object comes after that. And here, because home is not object, it is in place of object. Actually, uh, it is location. However, this is the difference in structure of phrases, in sounds, which the child observes. And these differences, when he or she is learning two different languages or two different varieties, actually make up the respective grammars of the languages in child's mind. Further, as we are closely attached with our own dialect, our variety, it becomes our identity. It means this variety tells who we are, where we live, what is our class, middle class, working class, elite class, what is our age, profession, and gender. So all these features are attached with the variety of language that we are learning. So we conclude from this talk in this module, the features of first variety make our speaking different from others, create language variation. These features create language variation. And that's why we call these features social variables. And the study of such features is called sociolinguistic variation, or we also call it variational sociolinguistics.